So I've been asked to take a look at problem 18 in the chapter reassignment. Reading the problem, they give you the days to maturity for a sample of five money market funds, and they give you the corresponding dollar amounts invested. They want you to use the weighted mean to determine the mean number of days to maturity for the dollars invested in the five funds. Round your answer to the two decimal places. What's important about a weighted mean problem is that you first of all identify what is your x value, the value that you want to calculate the weighted mean for, and what is your w value, or the values that are going to serve as your weights. This is where a lot of people go wrong. In this case, they ask for the weighted mean number of days to maturity. So the days to maturity is our x value. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use Excel to do this, but of course you could do this manually because there are not that many numbers involved. But I, again, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to do these so you'll have the tool in place. So I've copied these data values to Excel and identified the X value and the W value, the weight. The first step in calculating the weighted mean or the weighted average is to multiply each weight by its corresponding x value. We can simply copy that formula down for each of the pairs and we want the sum of those values. So we can use the auto sum function in the upper right hand corner here. It will automatically assume that we want to add up all of the quantitative values that are above it, which we do. Press enter. We also want to add the weights. I'll use so as I said we need the sum of the weights as well just to show the alternative way of calculating the sum of the weights, we can type in equal sign SUM, left parenthesis, highlight all the data values above, and then calculate the weighted mean. by simply taking the sum of the products divided by the sum of the weights. So the weighted mean days to maturity is 9.39 to two decimal places. So placing that 9.39 into the answer box and checking my work, we see that that is the correct weighted mean number of days to maturity. 